Hello, and welcome to my channel, Inspired Megs, and of course, I am Megs. I do art, I do furniture flips, I do talk about right brain versus left brain possibilities, and all that kind of jazz. So, welcome today, and hopefully you like we do. So, I've already got this one started. Today, we're going to be a little vulnerable, as I am using molding gels and texture gels, which I have never used before. So vulnerable in that, and vulnerable in maybe what this painting means. So, as we get started, obviously I have started already because I wanted to lay around with it, but I today have tried soft gel gloves. Sorry, my camera is not great at this. Hello. Anyways. It's a soft gel gloss, it's called. And so I mixed it with some gold because I was doing this piece and I have, uh, I put in a cocoon into this butterfly wing. So the butterfly wing has uh, roses flowing out of it. It kind of looks like a rose leaf and now this golden cocoon. But I wasn't liking it too much because I wanted the gold to really pop. I really wanted something a little bit extra with it. So again, today I'm plain because that's what you have to do when you get things, which is a little bit scary, especially when you have a big canvas and you're like, I don't want to do it. But sometimes you have to play to learn how things work and it may be a happy little accident like Mr. Bob Roth talks about things like that. So what I did today is I took some of the golden gel and I mixed it with, actually this was pretty, getting pretty dry, so it was kind of nice to add this. It's a true gold. Boop, boop, boop. Again, my camera does not zoom in very well on. It wants to zoom in on me. So here. Mm, hopefully. Anyways, this is a Utrecht uh, True Gold Series 2. And it was getting a little dry, so it was probably perfect for uh, using it. And I just mixed it all nice and thick on here. And with this, I'm doing texture. Um, I'm just, again, playing with it, adding texture and lines across the way. And again, I'm not used to using palettes either. This is my only palette. Um, and so I'm just creating texture. I mean, I've already got paint lines, like, down. Um, and I definitely am liking what's happening down here. And I am liking uh, some of the elements. But of course, I like details. So it is very different. Very, very different. So. Welcome along on this journey with me as I get into trying out this uh, soft gel gloss. doing this I'm trying techniques like uh, kind of carving, molding, pushing things around in a way kind of like how I paint because that's how I am used to doing things. It is getting uh, drier so I am adding a little bit of water uh, to see how that works to keep using um, the product that I still have and reworking it. We'll play some more, and we're also processing the right brain processing. Right now, I have been processing this one a bit more than some of the other ones that I process because um, I believe this one has come from me in a very vulnerable place. As um, and I guess I'll be vulnerable with you right now. As um, so, I've been married for over a year now, and um, we have not been able to get pregnant, and so. 
I feel like this art piece might be a little bit of that journey with me um, and us, my husband and I. So it's a journey of belief in the way of something more and the beauty that is blossoming and the process that hard takes. So um, we are just going through the beginnings of searching that all out, you know, a few doctor's appointments here or there and um, things like that. We are just trying to find out reasons why and there hasn't been anything exactly um, uh, for sure yet. So anyways, that I believe is actually the heart behind this uh, painting. And it didn't hit me till a couple days ago and I wasn't even painting it. And I was just letting it be until I was able to work on it. And so uh, realizing that um, this is a great way to process it and the beauty to come through the hard things. And so, um, like I said earlier, I drew it uh, first before I painted it. Um, so at church, they have little note cards um, that you can take notes. And of course, what do I do with being a right brain? I'm like, I'm going to draw so I can hear better and listen and retain it better. So every week nowadays, I just start with, I don't always have anything, but um, other than like just draw an outline of butterfly wings and then I just let the pen go as I go and I did that day um, it was about two Sundays it took me to sketch up this piece just because um, it was just a little bit different in the way of um, with texture and different things and letting it evolve because you don't want to rush the process too um, but yeah it was just one of those that like I just felt I saw kind of like the the petals and everything just growing and coming out of it. I didn't have exactly a color scheme yet, um, but obviously I need some pink and red if it's a rose. And then, yeah, the cocoon just kind of like grew on part of it because it wasn't feeling quite complete, like right in here. It was like, it felt like it needed something. And so I moved into that. And um, I think I'm going to take one of the opaque gels, extra heavy matte, not matte, regular gel, semi gloss. Um, and start working it without a color on some of the petals. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's kind of how it started. I was just like, of course, maybe I'll do a flower series. Maybe I'll do a, you know, crazy something. Anyways, but after it came out, I put it aside because I knew I wanted to paint it really bad. Um, I wasn't feeling it for anything particular and don't have a name still, but, um, after we were, when I got invited to this event, like right around New Year's Eve, um, I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna paint? My friend who invited me, she's like, oh, I'm pre prepping for it now. And I'm like, uh, I don't like the prep for things. I just like to go with the flow and paint when I paint. And I mean, sometimes I do, but then I realized I'm gonna paint this one. And so I got going and I did three nights of the five because it's not nearby, so it's a little bit of a drive. And um, it was great. And I also saw a post, which I wrote an article for a, um, a ministry called Sisters of the Crown. And um, it was all about what are you planting? I saw this uh, little post and it had these two little figures um, and one's on the ground. The other one is like over him and he's like, aren't you scared for 2020? Uh, Cause it's just been a mess. And the other one's like, no, I think there's going to be flowers. And the other one's like, why? Why do you think that? And then you see what the one on the second one is doing. It zooms out and it shows him. He's like, because I'm planting flowers. So I saw that like right before we did this. And I wrote the article on it. And, um, and just where this is just a year to plant flowers and watch it bloom. Like what you do what you apply yourself to and what you focus on is going to be what your year is going to look like. Obviously there's going to be things that just kind of come in and you know unforeseen circumstances and things like that and that's normal but again if you give most of your focus to uh, to life there's going to be life in your in your life. Life in your life. But when I hit this one, so that's initially why I started painting this one or saw was going that direction. Um, but like I said a couple days ago, when I was painting this, um, 
when I was painting this, I felt like, actually, like deeper, deeper part. This is a deeper, deeper, in the deeper of the right brain, creative artist thing was when I was drawing it, it was actually me processing some of that fear, hopelessness, um, fear and hopelessness of, of, you know, us not having our hopes of being pregnant yet, and why is that, and um, things of that nature. And so this is actually my spirit fighting against those doubts and those fears and those um, worries of not being pregnant yet and the fears of um, being and planting something new in my spirit and for other spirits because I love to paint for myself and obviously what you go through is what you can paint strongly through but I know that I'm not the only one and uh, that has gone through this, that is going through this, that um, has to plant seeds when it feels like the soil is not wanting to, obviously wanting to have seeds planted inside of me. But this is a declaration that life is out there. Um, life in my art, life in your life, life is uh, what you plant and what you, you will sow what you plant. And so I am, with this piece, I am sowing uh, life for all of those that fear that life cannot be coming from them. And I mean, I'm open to adoption. My husband and I are open to adoption. We are open to uh, knowing that there's other ways to have children, but still I see this as ways to uh, declare that life is coming forth from us. Um, so yeah, so again, art is more, especially for me, and a lot of rape brains or a lot of uh, just creative is something really deep that obviously they don't, sh they don't always have words for right away. Uh, obviously I'm sharing it with you because I feel like this painting and being able to share the story is going to be um, uh, hopeful and helpful and more in the seasons for you as well. So there's the story from the right brain girl in a left brain world of, and so vulnerable, vulnerable of trying and going to doctors, vulnerable of trying new painting techniques vulnerable this year in sharing struggles, sharing uh, sharing our hearts and our hopes and our disappointments. Um, so yeah, no, no disappointments quite yet, if anything, but uh, we're not going to focus on fear. We're going to focus on hope and growth and planting seeds.